What kind of advice do you give to other people out there, mothers that are having a hard time balancing motherhood, their career, being a wife? What kind of advice do you have for them? It's just hard, guys. Yeah. It's just, it is. Like, it's no, right. I always say, you know, people ask me all the time, how do you do it? Uh -huh. And I'm always like, if you have the answer for sure with me, because I'm also trying to figure out, just right. like you are. No matter what, you're going to feel guilty. Mm -hmm. That's make Just shake hands with that, because you can't do it all. You're going to miss some things at work. You're going to miss some things at home if you're going to try to do both. It's yeah. just going to happen. It's mm -hmm. impossible, right? But I think that it's very important to have your priorities straight. Yeah. So make a list of what are your priorities. So, you know, for me, I mean, I'm not going to go down my whole list, right. but, you know, number one is my family. Mm -hmm. So... I can do everything else in my life and be crazy busy, but even on the craziness of the work, or I have mm -hmm. deadlines, or I have to do this, I go, did I get lunch for my kids? Mm -hmm. Did I, you know, pack their lunch box? Did they have the, this that they need and that that they need? For you know, sure. all those things. Because have your priorities straight really helps you refocus when you need to. It makes yeah. it very easy to do. Do you guys make it a point to have like dinner with the family every single week or is it every single night where you're all in the kitchen together making dinners and things like that? We cook pretty much every day, mm -hmm. three, four times a day. Yeah. So that it's a lot of our family time spent together. Mm -hmm. And even when a lot of times if I'm running late from work or something like that, sometimes I go, you know what, we're gonna have a late dinner. Yeah. And tomorrow morning, kids, you're gonna have to step up to the game. Sure. <laughs> because we are eating together. We're doing that. You know, does it happen every single day of the week? No, but it happens a lot because right. that's what we spend a lot of our family time. Mm -hmm. What's like your go-to meal? When I get home late mm -hmm. and I don't have time to cook, I have like this 15 minute, 20 minute, you know, dish that I do is soba noodles with vegetables nice. and chicken. <laughs> and you can go to their website and sh check that one out because it has saved me many, many sure, times. Sure, yeah. Yes. And then do you plan out date nights too? Because I know it's always important to have, you know, some alone time with your husband. Yeah. Yeah. I don't call it date nights. No. <laughs> no, I don't call it date nights. I have a little bit of a hard time with the date night okay. name, uh, but time for each other. Okay. You know, once you have three kids and you work, making time for each other is not just like, oh, wake up, what are you doing? I'm sure. not doing anything. <laughs> sure, let's go get a beer. No, like yeah. it's always something happening. Mm -hmm. So you do have to make an effort to mm -hmm. make sure that that happens. I think it's important to always remember that you and your husband came first. Mm -hmm. So that relationship needs to be nourished, mm -hmm. like very much so and to the top, because if that doesn't work, then your kids are gonna suffer from that too. So I think it's very important to make time for yourselves. Yeah, and when, when you do make time for yourselves, what do you guys enjoy doing? A lot of staycation. Yeah, that's nice. Yes, <laughs> a lot of staying at home, mm -hmm. cooking together, or getting a hotel room that it's 10 minutes away from the house. You yeah. know what I mean? Just the yeah. fact that you don't have to wake up to mm. kids screaming for right. help with something, it already does something to a mom's brain, sure. right? Sure.